Hello everybody, Mystical Love and Light here. It is pretty late. Um, I don't know, probably about 10 p.m. And I needed to dry a few things. Um, only because, well, first of all, this is a ghost pepper. And a guy gave me one. He there, um, the last, uh, let's see, <clears throat> the last three days we've had not a freeze, but we had a, um, a frost. And so he had a few of these that he had to pick off his plant. And I happened to be around him at the time that he had walked in with them. And he was talking about the ghost peppers. Now, I do have some seeds up on my shelf. And I said, how much would you charge? Um, uh, how much would you charge me just to have one ghost pepper? And he said, I'll give you one ghost pepper. And I will give you one habanero, which is this one. And he said he wasn't going to pick them just yet, but since we were getting the really cold weather in, he didn't want them to ruin because he uses them. So I thought I'd do a video on this uh, just to let you know what the uh, ghost pepper and the habanero peppers can be used for. Now, I'm going to give you just a couple of uh, uh, examples, but they can be used for so, so many things. Now, the ghost pepper, um, and you want to make sure, now I'm touching the stem, and it's okay to touch the skin, but once they start to dry out, then I will no longer touch the outside or anything without getting something to pick it up with, because of, if it cracks, any of that juice that comes out is like so freaking ridiculously thick hot and if you touch your eyes your skin whatever it is actually going to burn you so i'm very very and that's the reason i'm putting this one on the very bottom tray now the ghost pepper and you only add like one seed to any working to speed up the process now let me see hold on um I have these already dried from a previous time. I've had these for a while that somebody gave me. And I still have them in the bag. I don't even have them in, in here loose. I have them in the bag. And um, you can see how small the seeds are there. You can see. So this will be added to this jar. And like I say, when you're going to use it in a working... You can just use one seed. Now, the outside, too, it will be end up getting uh, cut up and chopped up really, really fine. And that can be used also. But the seeds itself, just one seed. So you add only one seed to any working to speed up the process. No matter what working it is, if you want to speed it up, you use one seed. Don't touch it with your hands. It's also for protection, protection for you because it can burn your enemy. So if you're going to do a working, if someone is bothering you, if someone is getting too close to you, like in a um, uncomfortable way and you want them to back up, you want them to get away, you want to protect yourself, you can also use, use the ghost pepper in that kind of working also. Now the habanero pepper, which is this one here, you you can you can use it in hot foot powders, in love, in fidelity, in fidelity workings. You can use it to spice up your relationship, to heat up a love relationship. You can do a working for for that. Okay, so I'm I'll put it right here now. Since we have gotten a frost. Now, that's going to be up a little bit. until I'm not going to push it down because I don't want to break the juice. I want it to dry on its own. Matter of fact, let me move the habanero on this side over here just to kind of balance it out a little bit. 
as it dries, then it will settle down and this will go down. Now, since we had um, um, cold spells the last, hey baby girl, the last few days, um, we have a tomato plant that's growing by the steps. We didn't plant it. It was growing on its own. Let me tell you a little bit about that. Tomato leaves you can crush up really, really fine. You can use them like for a powder, for love and for passion. Um, you can also use it for offerings for prosperity. You can even use it and go outside and sprinkle it to the, to the elements as an offering that way also. Now, the green tomatoes. <clears throat> well, let me go ahead and put the leaves on here first. Um... I had to go ahead and start taking them off because if it got any colder, they would freeze. So I clipped off some leaves before they froze because I want to dry these out too so that we can use them in workings also. Time I get to the top layer, you probably won't be able to see it. I'll have to move the camera up, but for now, Let's see, I've got one, two more trays. And since these are just kind of sporadic, I'm going to go ahead and just use the one tray for these. I'm just going to kind of spread them out. Um, because the tomato plant will be dying in the next few days. I wanted to get this while it was alive. That's another thing. And when you're doing your workings, you want the, um, your herbs and stuff, you want them to be, um, like fresh, like healthy. You don't want them to be dead. And as you can tell, these are like really fresh and healthy. Okay. Then I need to leave that little space there in the middle. And I need... Um, I think I needed this tray in between. I needed this tray in between. That will settle down once it does that. So now I need to move these leaves over here. Like this. And as they dry, that will also settle down. Okay. I did not want these to go to waste. This um, obviously was there for me for a reason because we don't plant tomatoes by our front porch and that's where these were growing. Okay, let's see. Now, the tomatoes. Um... Let me see if I can move you up just a little. Uh, let me see. <clears throat> I may just have to hold you. I don't not know. Let me see. Uh, let me let me move this, and let me see if I can move you here. Uh, it's not as Hi, but I think it will work. Okay, because it's right here. Okay, now the tomatoes, the green tomatoes, okay? Now the green tomatoes can be used in workings to protect your home. And if they grow close to your walkway or steps, someone is looking after you and protecting your home. And like I say, we did not plant these by our steps, but right by the very first step, boom, it's right there growing. We didn't plant it. It's growing on its own. And so someone is looking out for us and protecting us. And I have went out today. This is the, the second or third day that they were out in the cold. Any colder, it would have froze. Now, I cut these where they're actually, they're froze, but not like dying froze. If I left them out another night, they would be useless. So when they get this way, you can cut them really easy. 
the plate don't have no juice in it. It doesn't have any seeds in it unless like one falls out or something. But you can see everything is intact. So it's easy to cut because they are not frozen but frosted. So I am going to place these all around. And I use the whole entire thing both ends. So, um, again, these can be used in protection and prosperity, protecting your home. And I will get these dried up. And then after they are completely dried, I will keep some slices in the jar for however I want to use them in my workings. So if I want to powder them or just dice them up, add them in, however I decide to do that. And let me put a bigger one there. I'm trying to take up the room. And then we will use the next tray. And as you can see, and I'll show you the top of them. And Velvet's in the background whining because she thinks I can pick her up. But I can't because my hands are all busy. I cannot get you right now, Mommy. I love you, though. And we are putting these. Once they that habanero and ghost pepper starts to dry, then the trays will settle down into their slots. But they're okay for right now. are going to be just about perfect and look as you can see no juice no seeds no nothing and well I think I had one little drip down my finger and that's probably from the dew that's outside and so this is what it looks like the green tomatoes and I need to put the lid on. And I will walk around and I will turn it on. It will make a loud noise. That's the reason I had it. Normally I have it already going as I'm putting the items in. But I knew the noise was going to be very loud. And that's it. And thank you for watching, and have a nice rest of the night. Bye. Bye. Bless be.